Welcome back for one of Bubba's raw videos. What I want to talk to you today is about growing in Veggie Do 301. We actually placed a bag of this under one of my worm tomatoes, Domingo tomatoes, and uh, a bag was mixed into the soil around here, one bag. And I want to show you the misconceptions about the giants that people think you only can grow one. You gotta grow one, you gotta grow one. No, that misconception, that's about the uh, world record or state record contest guy who's really dead serious and he just wants to grow one. This is what you get when you grow multiple tomatoes on my Domingo. Look at those tomatoes, beautiful. Even over here, a couple more growing down here, more. So we're gonna have some good eaters grown in the Morgan's 301 compost. Veggie do. All right, so there you go. I wanted to show you that. Look at it down here, look at the tomatoes down here. Just on and on. So you're missing the boat if you're only growing one on your plants. And some people say, oh, I don't wanna grow that seed, I wanna eat them. If I link this back to my viral video where I have over 17 million views, 288 pound giant watermelon, cut open, look inside. You'll see all the comments of the people saying, what a waste, what a waste. You can't eat it, you can't eat it. Well, you don't eat a racehorse. You don't eat show cattle. You don't eat show pigs. So why would you eat a watermelon that was grown for prize money and seeds? There's so many misconceptions. Like right here with the field pumpkins. Here's one of Jackson's field pumpkins attempt. All right, we lost one. I'll show you what happened. We caged up three Jackson decided to keep three field pumpkins on his plant so he'd have one for his brother and this is what happened to one of them this is what we call a flatty this is a flatty pumpkin once we caged her up we must have injured it somehow because she never grew again and uh, the mosquitoes here are crazy so musk melon we're getting ready to harvest the musk melon we're growing mini musk melon on here we're not trying for a monster we're going to eat them. All right. Gray zucchini. Going to eat them. But yeah, lots of misconceptions. People say, oh, you got to pinch off every flower. You got to do this. You got to do that. No, there's a lot of misconceptions in growing the giants. You can grow several pumpkins. If you want to grow five 500-pound pumpkins on one plant, you can do it. All right. The genetics are there. You don't have to just focus in and dial in on one. All right many ways to grow them. The pumpkins can be scattered all over the plant. They don't have to be deadheaded. They don't have to be a lot of just different theories people use. But I just wanted to share that with you today. Lots of misconceptions. Join our channel. We have many playlists. We got a couple videos coming up. Orange Lover videos that we're going to visit. Jason G. Fowler's Garden in Toledo and Alan Laginus near St. Petersburg, Michigan and uh join us join us for <clears throat> the big orange lovers they're going to grow multiple pumpkins on their plants and join us for those updates you can find out there's so many misconceptions about growing giants it's endless the misconceptions so please join us for more information today remember keep it a secret but go tell a friend bub is sharing growing tips around the world with jackson all right remember Hit the like button, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to the channel. This is a Bubba Raw video. No professional editing was done on this video. All right, thank you very much.